Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my Webkin's Let's Play series. So this is actually Webkin's Let's Play Part 3, and I just wanted to show you guys today's announcements because they're pretty cool. Um, so right away when I logged on to Webkin's, I, I see that I got the countdown to St. Patrick's Day. A pair of golden leprechaun shoes has been added to my dock. So that's really cool. Also, the trophy challenge for the smoothie moves is until March 15th at midnight. I already did that challenge. And we can also go and vote for a room design trophy. So that's pretty cool. All right. So today I yeah. want to focus on Mickey Dolenz, my friend. Mickey Dolenz. Let's see. Where is he? I think I just passed right by him. There he is. All right. So today we're going to be hanging out with Mickey. Let's see where he at, is at. All right, so this is Mickey's room. I will do a house tour at some point, but uh, for now, you can just go ahead and see Mickey's room. As I told you in the introductions video, Mickey really likes rocking horses. As you can see, he has one, two, three, four. He has five rocking horses in his room. That's just something that he likes. Um, so yesterday, we actually earned a few things. We earned uh, Ms. Birdie's gift box, and also we earned a Kinsville Mall shopping bag. Um, I decided not to open those up off camera because I thought that maybe you guys would want to see what we got as well, and if we're able to do it yesterday. So we'll definitely do that. But also here are the golden leprechaun shoes that we just got. And yesterday we also got a new leprechaun hat, a golden leprechaun hat. So I think that the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to change Mickey Dolenz's outfit. So let's go ahead and do that. So I like what he's wearing right now. He's wearing a, a cute little leper, uh, leopard print jacket and uh, just some cute ripped jeans. Um... This jacket is actually from the Fashion Week that was only, I think, last week or the week before that. But Mickey wants to be more festive for St. Patrick's Day, so we're going to change what he's wearing. First, we're going to put on this golden leprechaun hat. Oh my goodness, how cute is that, guys? That is adorable. I love how the, it has a little four-leaf clover for good luck right there. And I think I'll leave on these green glasses because they definitely go well with the whole St. Patrick's Day theme. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and add these golden leprechaun shoes. Oh my goodness, he looks so cute. Now let's just go ahead and give him a green shirt, I guess. Just to keep with the theme. So let's look at what we've got here. Just, I've got a whole lot of clothes, so... Oh, maybe we can put... uh this Fashion Week jacket on because it's gold. Or it's yellow. Yellowish gold. I think that works. I think that's a cute outfit. It's perfectly St. patrick E. <laughs> I don't think that's a word. But alright. So, we started off this episode well with a cute outfit change for Mickey. Okay. So, before we go about and do things. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about Mickey Dolenz since today is his day on Webkins. So Mickey Dolenz, I imagine he's one of the older siblings, so he's probably around like 16 years old. Um, and as I said earlier, he really loves music. I mean, his parents did name him after a famous singer, so it only makes sense that he really loves music. He's also really into nature. As you can see in his room, he has like this uh, nature looking bed and he also has a dragonfly on the wall here. And he also has this little geode, or I guess big geode. It's really sparkly. And he really likes rocking horses. So that's Mickey for you. He's a really good singer. He doesn't go around singing in the house like Kendall does because he's more shy. But he definitely lo does love music and he loves to sing just usually when he's alone. Okay, so we're going to start things off a little differently today. 
I want to go to to the clubhouse and trading to see if we can find the leprechaun today because um yesterday I had to find the jelly coin off camera because it was taking me so long to find the leprechaun but I figured we might as well try and find him together today because this is an event that is happening just for a little while in Webkin's world so I figured it would be f pretty fun to see it together on camera. Oh, and then we still need to open up these things that we got yesterday. I almost completely forgot. So we can do that after we find the leprechaun. Let's hopefully find him pretty quickly. <laughs> All right, let's go into the welcome room and see if he's there. Well, I'm glad you feel like visiting this room today, Mickey, because that's the first place we're going. So let's hope for the leprechaun. Okay, so no leprechaun in here, but again, we can get something from Miss Birdie because we can get something from her every day. Let's see. Never give up on my dreams. Oh, we will not. Don't worry. All right, and now we have another gift box from Miss Birdie, so we're going to have two gift box to open, so that's good. That'll be fun. All right, let's see. Now let's check Daisy's diner. Again, if the leprechaun's not here, we can still get something from Daisy. So it's not a, a waste of time. Plus, it's also really fun to go into the clubhouse to see all the different webkins. I always really enjoy seeing the other webkins and, like, seeing what people name their webkins and stuff. And there are eight webkins in this room. That's, that's quite a few webkins. Um, as you can see down here, in, um, invites are always turned off automatically when you go into a clubhouse room. But I'm going to go ahead and click to allow invites, just in case anyone wants to be friends. But look at these names. Lady, Sophie, Chigger, Bunny, Dolly Parton. Those are really cute names. Let's go ahead and grab something from Daisy. Let's see if it works. All right, looks like we got, I'm not sure what that is. Maybe those are chickpeas or or snow peas, I think, not chickpeas. I think those might be snow snow peas. What is it you want, it, Mickey Dolans? Oh, you want to try the speed class? I don't think so. One thing I forgot to tell you guys about yesterday, also about Kendall. I'm sorry, Mickey, I know this is your day, but I forgot to say that um, Kendall is also the family's representative for everything in the Webkin Stadium. That's because each individual pet um, has different levels in the Kinsville Academy for the classes. And since I have 20 pets, it would take a very long time to go to the uh, Kinsville Academy with every single pet each and every day. So I decided that Kendall was going to be the one to represent the family with high class scores and um, the Webkin Stadium. She is really outgoing, so it would make sense that she'd be the one to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and go to another room. Let's check out the watch and win room. Might as well. I'm just going to go to every room and hope that the leprechaun's there. And in this room, you can just watch random videos, ads to get uh, Ken's cash. We won't be doing that on camera because I don't think it'd be that exciting for people to watch ads. But uh, it's always good to check in here. Looks like the leprechaun is not in here. So let's move on. Let's try the classroom. The cool thing about the classroom is that you can role play that you're, well, in a classroom, which is kind of cool. So uh, someone can role play have their webkins be the teacher and then other webkins can be the students stuff like that but it does not look like anyone's really doing that today it says there's six webkins in this room but i don't see any other webkins and i also don't see leprechaun so let's go ahead and switch out of this room next we can go to the training room training room is pretty self-explanatory you go there to trade items with other webkins it's pretty cool. All right, no leprechaun in here either. But it is really cool to see Mickey Dolans walking around in his St. Patrick's Day outfit. So it seems like Mickey really likes, um, he really likes <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. All right, let's now go into Doug's collector's room and see if either the leprechaun or Doug is here. Okay, so neither the leprechaun 
or Doug are here. Oh well. It was worth checking. So let's go into the reading room next. This room is cute. It just has a bunch of little books that you can read if you feel like it. Any leprechaun? Dum da da dum 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 dum. Uh, no, I do not see any leprechauns in here. Oh well. Oh look, guys, a floaty clicky. Look, we earned a pet medallion, a horse. That's cool. So pet medallions, you can collect them. And if you get enough pet medallions, then you can use them to adopt a pet online only, which is cool. So if I ever do that, then I'll have another cousin <laughs> or uncle or aunt to add to the family. Because again, if you didn't watch the first video, um, the non-immediate family members are the ones that are only online and don't have a plush form. All right, let's go ahead and go into the games room. Obviously. There's lots of games in this room. Is there a leprechaun? I suppose we shall find out. No, there is not. But this game, I mean, this room is really cute because you can just like play games with other webkins. We might do that at some point. Probably not today, but maybe, but probably at some point in the, um, in the series of Let's Play. Here's an after school room. Apparently it's the cool place to go after school. Let's see how cool it is today, how many people are hanging out in here. So we got a fair amount of people, like 50. Whoa, I meant five, not 50. Now that would be a crowded room, wouldn't it? So there's five weapons in here. Not that big of a crowd, but still cute. Man, the leprechaun always likes to hide from me whenever I play this game. He makes it really difficult for me to find him. Hopefully he'll be in here. Da, 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 da. All right, so this is the bowling alley, which is a place you can go to play. You must have four leaf bowling. luck. Oh, hey, look! Ha! Huh, there's the leprechaun. You must have four leaf luck. Maybe I do. All right, we have been awarded the yellow jelly coin. So now it'll show up here. Awesome. So it looks like we only have three more jelly coins to find, and then we can get whatever is in this big pot of gold. And I'm excited to see what that is. Who knows? All right, awesome. I'm really happy. Oh, good day to you, too. <laughs> I'm really happy that we found the leprechaun on camera today. All right, let's head home. Oh, count your lucky clovers you've found me. Yeah, huh, I do feel lucky finding you, and it didn't take that long. All right, let's go to the house because we have a few things to open. Okay, so let's start by opening these gift boxes from Ms. Birdie. Okay, so the first thing we got was a Webkin's Cares clock. I definitely have many of these, but I like to put these in the dog hangout room because it's in the shape of a dog. Again, I will do a house tour at some point for you guys to see. Let's see what else we get. A Webkin's Cares cookie. Mm, that looks so good. I think we'll go ahead and feed that to um, Mickey right now. Mmm, to the max. All right, I'm really happy you like that. And then finally, we have the Kinsville Mall shopping bag that we got from... The spree game yesterday. Let's see what we got. Awesome. We got mall pizza, a blue jean princess outfit, and an, a bonus roll for spree. Remember how when we were playing yesterday, I told you guys that every once in a while you can get extra spree rolls? Well, this is one of the ways you can get them. So that's really cool. Oh, now we have five of these blue jean princess outfits. Um, also yesterday we did get a few other things. I think one of the things that we got yesterday was a sunflower clock. I think. Let's see if I can find it. Wow, I have a lot of stuff. Yeah, here it is. So we got this sunburst wall clock yesterday. And I think we also got these wildflowers too. 
I'm just showing off a little bit what we got yesterday, just in case you missed the episode. Yeah, we also got these white wildflowers yesterday. And this, uh, wand sparkle tree. Okay, awesome. Here, Mickey, have some mall pizza. <laughs> Taste out of this world. Awesome. Cool. Alright. Now let's go ahead, and I think we're gonna just do things a little out of order. Just to switch things up. A bit. So let's go ahead and go to today's activities and see what, what we, we have going on. So it looks like there's snack time. Nice. I have been awarded some free food. Let's see what we got. So we got a pear. <laughs> well, that's cool. I think also yesterday we got some peanuts. So when Mickey is hungry again, we'll definitely feed him that because I know elephants really like peanuts. Okay, we can play the uh, jelly bean challenge again. And again, I never win at this one, so if anyone's watching this, knows what to do. Not a bad guess. Oh, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> it was not a bad guess. I have two more guesses. So, uh, maybe five, six, seven, nine. Still not a bad guess. Okay, maybe we should try a little bit more. Maybe five, six, eight, five. Mm. Nope. I never get it, which is okay. But I do want to figure out how to play that game and actually win it. Because I've never been able to completely do it. I get close, like I just did, but I never actually get the exact number. Ooh, hey, look at this. A uh, W Shop coupon. Let's see what we get. Oh, nice. That's a really good one. A 50% off coupon. So... We have a lot of coupons at the moment, so when whenever we go ahead and do some shopping, which we will do a lot in this series to like, well, to, to keep my house updated and to make new rooms and stuff like that, we'll definitely be using these coupons. So I'm pretty sure that that was basically all we've got on today's activities. Yeah, we did that, that, and that. So there's nothing else till four. But we definitely want to make sure to come on here and play Wacky Bingos while we're here. Okay, so nothing on the one ball game. How about the two ball game? Nothing. And one! That's awesome. Okay, and we only have one ball on this one, so let's hope to get some more. Oh, no luck today on that one. Well, that's okay. I also see that in the corner over here, there's a, uh, you can also drag Wacky Bingo's coupons if you ever get them. Um, I've never gotten one of those before, so I wonder where you can get those. Good question. Alright, again, let's go out of order. Let's go to the curio shop next. Well, if it isn't one of my extra special customers, welcome to the curio shop. Well, now that was really nice, so I feel like we should tip him. Let's give him a $100 tip. That's a lot of money, but hey. At the moment, we've got a pretty fair amount of Ken's cash, so might as well. That is very kind of you. Yes, it is very kind of us. But Mickey Dolenz is a very kind dude, and he told me he really wanted to give you $100, so... Hey, you should be thanking Mickey, not me. Today let's looks go. like a good day for some mining. Yep, let's go. Let's see if we can find anything. Let's try the muzzle mouth mine today. Ah, ah, watch out! Ah, run, Mickey! Alright, so I found the vol Volcano Viscos gem. I'm pretty sure I have one of those. Yeah. Congratulations! Looks like you found yourself a gem. You can keep that gem for your collection and try for that legendary crown of wonder. Or I can buy it from you if you like. Let me see what I can offer. Wow, that's wow. a lot of money. Congratulations! You found the gem of the day! Oh, and it's the I gem of the day! I really use one of those, so I'm willing to offer you a super special prize for it. What do you say? Hmm, I think we're gonna go for it, because we already have three. And it is good to have some extra gems for Doug, if he's in the clubhouse, but we already have three of these, so we might as well sell it. Get a little extra money. 
and get some of that money back that we just paid him, $100. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Hope you're saving up for a rare item. I'm not necessarily saving up for a rare item, but I am saving up for just being able to do house expansion in the future. So, um, that's right. I think that we only have two of the green gems to find still. So, um, let's see. Anything that we want in here? There is a random railway track straight. Ah, I don't see why I would need that. That's good. I don't see anything else I really want. Let's look at Deluxe. Check out my special extra stock. Only available to special customers like you. Now this is cool. The dreamy gazebo. Because, well, it is beautiful. Such a gorgeous gazebo is sure to make the perfect centerpiece for your garden oasis. But here's the thing. That is a lot of money. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that is... More money than we have, <laughs> so we won't be getting that, because that's 12,000 Kins Cash. That is crazy, and I have 9,848 Kins Cash, so I don't even have that much money. So I'm definitely not going to be buying that. <laughs> Thanks anyways. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and check out the Kins Style Outlet. Awesome, you're back. Make sure you check out my Splendorific special item. Hmm, well... A pink and purple fleecy. I think I already have a bunch of those, so I think I'm going to pass today on that. Let's go ahead and go to the Wish Factory. Hey! Great to see you again! Do you want to use the Wish Machine today? As Make usual, a wish! We are going to wish for the blue flowery greenhouse. That's a nice wish! I hope it comes true! Congratulations to yesterday's winner, Deshanel. Deshanel? Sorry, I'm probably saying that wrong. They got the Sport Soaker Tub. That's really cool. Let's go ahead and do the Wheel of Wishes as well. Welcome to the Wheel of Wishes. Good luck! Alright, let's see. Hopefully we get a wish token or two wish tokens instead of money this time. Nope, looks like we got money. Which is still a good thing. Shouldn't complain. Whoa. Way cool. 200 Kins Cash. See you soon. Hey. Great to see you again. Do you want to use a wish machine today? All right. Well, no, because we didn't get any wish tokens. Hmm. Da da da. Let's go ahead and go to the game's arcade. Because it looks like Mickey wants to play Spree. We can start by doing that. Might as well. So let's go down to the bottom and find that. It'll be down here. Here it is. Alright. So as you can see, we have that bonus roll that we got this morning from the Kinsville Mall bag thing that we got earlier. So let's go ahead and use these two rolls that we have. Oh, it looks like we're landing on a spree. A spree area, which means that we get to choose one of these cards from the deck. Cool. All null credits for the next spaces are gold for our next roll. And that's good. Because when you land on these gold ones, they give you lots of mall credits. And we got a green shopping bag. So we are, again, having the chance of earning all of these just like yesterday when we got all five of these prizes i mean all five of these bags we got a little prize that we opened up this morning so now we just need these other four colors and we'll get another little mini prize okay let's go ahead and go to the wheel of wow next the wheel of wow <laughs> And we got some spring fling balloons. That's cool. I think I have some of those, so maybe I can uh, start saving those up and put them in my party room that I have in the Costello mansion. Let's go ahead and do the Wheel of Delights. And the reason why I say mansion, and the reason why I should say mansion from now on, not just house, is because I actually have 70 rooms, which is quite a few <laughs> rooms.
Oh, I was kind of hoping we would get the leprechaun outfit. But I like these crocus flowers also. They're really pretty. Ooh, they're they are really pretty. Like purple with little white and yellow insides. That's pretty pretty. All right, let's go ahead and do the wishing well too. I think also today while we're in the arcade, we'll play a few games maybe for this uh let's play. <laughs> Ten Kings Cash. Five. Well, that's pretty good. Fifteen. Oh, look, we got a three times bonus there. That's cool. So that's not a bad roll. We got 70 kins cash today. I think yesterday we only got 45. So that's actually pretty good. So next we go ahead and do the Jumbleberry Fields game. Let's hope to get a good roll just like we did yesterday. Because yesterday we got a really good roll. Um, let's go ahead and go for Jumbleberry. Alright, so it's not a basket of five. And those are pretty low baskets of three and four, so let's go ahead and do Jumbleberry. The highest Jumbleberry score you can get is ten, so that's pretty good Jumbleberry roll. Alright, let's definitely grab this. Maybe let's go for a mixed basket. So we're gonna grab this one, this one, and this one. And it looks like we definitely got the mixed basket. Let's get rid of this uh, fly. Or not. Well, that's okay. Um, so that's a 15 for mixed basket. This fly takes the points down a little bit, but that's okay. Uh, let's maybe try for pickleberry now. Or a free roll. Let's see. Alright, that's probably gonna be a good free roll. Yeah, that's a really good free roll. Now let's try for Pickleberry. Huh, or not. Actually, let's go for a, either a basket of three or a basket of four. So that's a good basket of three. Once again, let's go for Bickleberry. Okay, so... Uh, that's not great. We could do Sugarberry instead and try for a better Pickleberry roll. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's try for a better one. Or maybe a Moonberry roll. I don't know. Yeah, that's gonna be our Moonberry roll. Oh, there we go. Not bad, not bad. Now we just need a basket of four and a basket of five, so let's go for a Jumbleberry. All right, that's it. That yeah, that's actually is pro probably as good as we can get for a basket of four with jumble berries because of this moonberry here. So we'll take it. Now, when you're looking for a basket of five, you should probably go for a jumbleberry basket of five because jumbleberry berries are the most common, so they're the most likely to find five of them. Okay, so no basket of five today, so definitely not as good of a score as we had yesterday, but that's okay. Yeah! Alright, not bad. We got one jumbleberry, two sugarberry, and one pickleberry. No moonberries, but it is more rare to find those because they are so rare. Alright, let's see. So 
So now we have 63 jumbleberry, 76 sugar, 61 pickleberry, and 60 moonberry. So I think that most likely the next one, next prize that we'll be getting is going to be a sugarberry prize because we've got the most of those so far. All right, so we played the Wheel of Wow, the De Wheel of Deluxe, the Wishing Well, Jumbleberry, and Spree. So now, why don't we just randomly go ahead and play one of the games, just to show them off. Hmm, I think we're going to play Flutterbugged. It's, uh, that is Kendall's favorite, but Mickey also likes this game. Also, congratulations to Zway. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Good job for getting the high score of today. Let's go ahead and play. So I actually really don't like the music of this game, so I'm just going to go ahead and mute it. But the object of this game is to just fly away from these... Oops. To fly away from these bees. Or I guess run away. <laughs> See, they're chasing after you because they think that you're the flower. Because you're pink, just like these flowers. So the only way to get rid of them is to lead them into these actual flowers, and then they will stop chasing you. So this game is pretty easy at first. It does get harder the, the longer you keep playing. As you guys will see if we make it far. Hopefully. Follow me, guys. You don't want me, trust me, you want these actual flowers. And the more that you get in with the bees, the more that this cute little lamb starts to laugh. And if you get hit by too many of these bees, then you're out. As you can see, the bees are starting to get a little bit quicker. Ah! Oh man. Okay, so that definitely was not my best. So we might as well play it again, because I did not do very well that time. But as you can see, if if the little lamb gets hit with too many of the, the flutter bugs, then uh, she starts laughing uncontrollably and runs off the screen. So let's try and do a little bit better than that this time. Okay. With so little water bugs coming at you at first, it's really easy to dodge them and to bring them into the flowers. In fact, you can practically just stand there for a little while in the beginning of the game. Like, I could probably just have my character come up here and just stand here. Like, just stand here and be okay. I'm not gonna do that though, it wouldn't be really fun to watch my character just stand there. Let's go over here. Look at all those beehives starting to pop up all over the place. I wonder what happened and why all of these bees are just showing up so randomly. <laughs> it's like all their friends called them and they're like, hey, there's a really nice field of flowers here, you should come move in. Alright, so we're already doing a little bit better than last time. Let's hope to keep this momentum up. Oh, 
Follow me! <laughs> or don't. That'd be better, actually, if you don't follow me. Oh, man! Alright, so today is definitely not my day when it comes to this game. That's okay. I think my, um, let's see. Let's see what my highest score is. My highest score is 22,000. So I've definitely been able to do well in this game before, but today I'm just not doing that great. That's okay. So maybe let's try, like, one more game, and then we can go off and do other stuff. Which game should we play? How about... Let's do my favorite game. My favorite game is Bonanza. I really love this game. Oh, and congratulations to that person who got the high score. So this game is pretty simple. It's just an obstacles no. game. No. You just want to go ahead and grab all of the bananas in each level without being bitten by spiders or hit by falling coconuts. No. Also without falling off of the branches. No. Whee! No. So I'm pretty good at these uh, beginning levels because uh, um, this is one of Webkin's oldest games, so no. it has old um, levels that don't change. So, like, no matter how many times you play this game, the levels will be the same. So, I've played through these levels quite a few times. Ah! Uh-oh, better be careful. Okay. Now, we're on level four, and as you can see, there's a whole lot of coconuts. I'm just gonna stand here for a minute. Because you cannot jump over spiders unless they are facing you. And I wanted to make sure that I could go across that area without stopping. Because if you try and stop in that area, you're going to be hit by a coconut. Alright, let's go ahead and grab this last little banana. Okay, again, let's wait for it to face us, and then we need to jump over it. Ah, there we go. And up we go. I'm actually going to wait for the spider to move away so I can jump up. Ah, there we go. Now I have to wait for it to face it, and up we go. Alright, now level 6 has a bunch of more coconuts. No! Woo! No! Gotta be strategic about this level. Okay, now we're gonna have to do this a little fancy jump. No! Oops, now that was not my smartest moment. No! No! So we should try that again, but when we do it this time, let's wait for the spider on the other branch to not be coming toward us. So, let's see. And no! now! Perfect! Got it! No! Ah! No! Alright, now we're on level 7. No! Oops, I almost forgot about that coconut up there was hiding behind a vine. There we go, level 8. Also have to be strategic about this level too, because there's so many coconuts as you can see. Alright, let's just go for it. Ooh, and we made it! Whoa, that was a close one. All right. Jump over this guy. Now we're gonna wait for the spider above us to move. Now 
now we're gonna go ahead and grab this one. All right, now we're on level 10. Watch out for those coconuts. Ah! So as you can see, this level's a little glitched out as I jumped onto nothing right there. Let's wait for the spider to move away and then I'll move to the right. There we go. And also it's glitched out as you can see with this branch right here. When I tried to land on it, I just went right through it. Again, it's one of Weapon's older games, so it makes sense that it would be a little bit glitchy. Although I do hope that they fix it in the future. Because I think on level 11 it's impossible for you to get past it because it's so glitchy, but we'll see. I, I can't remember if it's level 11 or level 12. I don't know why I came up here. Why did I come up this way? Oh yeah, I think... Ah! Ah! Oh, that well that was silly of me, sorry. Ugh. Let's go ahead and grab these coconuts, I mean these bananas again, or not, or I can be bitten by a spider. So I guess I'll be showing you guys the glitchy level another time because I just died. Oh well. Let's go ahead and go and check out some other things. Also I want to look at my messages really quick. Looks like I am going to send some more building stuff to my friends. All right, let's go ahead and down to the vacation island. Check out the souvenir shop. See if they have anything Whoa, new. Oh, check it out. A customer. See anything you like, amigo? Uh, no, I don't see anything new. So let's go to the vacation wheel. I hope to get one of the wallpapers. Or the floor. Or I can get a secret headquarters chair, which is cool too. Don't know where I'll put that, but that's cool. Alright, let's go ahead and go into Coral Cove. And it looks like Mickey's a little bit hungry, which is perfect. So we can get some free food from the buffet. There's a party going on in here, huh? Doesn't look like it. Every once in a while there actually is little parties that happen in these clubhouse rooms. For, um, where you can earn prizes, if you're lucky. But I don't think there's actually a party going on, so I don't know why Mickey said that. Alright, let's go ahead and eat some of these flip-flop pancakes. And also these uh, chips here. Oh, never mind, he's full. Alright, just like Kendall, you can only eat one thing in here. I really need to start bringing my pets in here when they're actually really hungry. And also, Roy and Cuddles are in here. Awesome. All right, next we go to the Don't Rock the Boat. Okay, so we didn't find any, like, we didn't find a map piece, but we also didn't get scared by the ghost. We found some Chocolate Fool's Gold. So I have a lot of those, as you can see in my little um, items bar down here. I have 38 of those. So <laughs> better start eating those quickly. And I guess we're really lucky that food on Webkins does not go bad like it does in real life, or else... We'd have a lot of stale chocolate in our inventory. Okay, so we already went to the Wish Factory. Let's go ahead and go to the Magical Forest. And do our daily adventures in the woods. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we didn't get anything, just some sap guap, but it does look like we got some money. Oh, and I just heard my phone go off so it, on webkin, so it sounds like maybe some of my friends are online. That's cool. Yeah, cool. Like one of my friends is online. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go on to Star Challenge. And start our search. Let's just go to the right for luck. Might as well. Yesterday we didn't find anything right away, so maybe if we scroll a little bit more we'll find stuff. Oh, uh, there's a shooting star. I never click those because they give you items which are cool, but I have already have all of the items that you can get with those shooting stars. Oh look, we found a bone. Amazing! A star has been found! I'm always looking for stars to spell with. Hmm. 
Hmm. How about making a trade? That is a lot. Will you accept my offer? I think we'll trade because that's a good amount of money. That's very kind of you. I promise I'll put it to good use. So let's check out our collection really quickly. So this is the um, Astro Emblems uh, collection. This is the uh, the fairy throne that I got before. So I don't think I even need to get the stars in this collection because I already have this. But I didn't get the stuff from the... Hmm. Oh, maybe it's all the same thing. I'm not sure. Maybe it's all just that throne. So I don't know if I'm playing this again for no reason at all. But hey, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, let's go on in here. Uh, where did we go yesterday? I think we went to the rainbow, so let's go to this water one today. Scroll to the right for luck. Alright, let's go with this dude over here. And we got another charm candy. Oh well. I think I have a lot of those too. Yeah, I have 25 of those. Alright, let's go ahead and go into Magic Mire. Yesterday we went into this candy one, so let's go into this secret entryway one. When it loads, because it takes a moment to load this one. Always does. Alright. So we got some Charm Fairy shoes, that's cool. I have four of those, but I I never am upset to get multiple clothing items because I've got 20 pets, so the more clothes the better. <laughs> yeah, we still don't have any seeds to play this game. And you can get seeds for this game from the other games in the Magical Forest, but you can also get them from the um, daily to-do list, things to-do list um, sometimes. I didn't see any of those today, but it's okay. Alright, let's go ahead and go to the tournament arena. So as you guys know, yesterday we got the results back for one of the quick tournaments. So that means that a new quick tournament probably has started that we can probably enter. I like to enter the Zaki's Quest tournament because I'm pretty good at this game. Yeah, there's 10 out of 15 players already entered. So let's go ahead and enter this. And that means that we'll be up against 14 other people. So let's go ahead and play and see how well we can do today. So this game, you just want to travel to the end of the map and you want to get as many map pieces as possible. Ooh. Ooh. You also want to eat this food that I'm having Zaki eat because it gives you extra lives if you collect enough of them. So like if you collect enough of those little food items, you can get extra lives. Avoid the cars. Story. Avoid the bird and all of those Zangos walking around. Found a piece! And we found the first piece of the map. And each time we have, like each time we go, we get less and less time to get there. Puzzle. Run, run, run! Ooh, yummy! Uh. So I can go pretty quick on this game, just from practice, because this is one of the games that I like a lot, so I play it a lot. Alright, we got our second piece. Ooh. Ooh. Oops. That was a silly mistake. But that's okay. See, that's why we collect these extra little food items, because if you collect enough of them, you'll get extra lives. Yummy. Okay, let's try to get across without dying. Alright, now we found the third piece. Alright, now we only have 45 seconds for this time. So let's try to get there. 
Extra try! Hey, did you hear that? We just got an extra try. Yummy! Yummy! Can you guys imagine if you actually made those little bouncing noises every time you walked in real life? How annoying that would be! Found a piece! It's like every time you go places, you go whine, 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 whine. <laughs> I guess it's good that we're not all Zacky. Really? Or else it would be a very, very loud world that we live in. If everybody made those noises every time they walked. Ooh. I'm so busy talking, I just accidentally ran into a Zango's. So I never get the ones down, um, here, because they're hard to get, and they take more time. And I don't want to waste any of the time that we found have. Alright, so we found the first stage, the 25% of the map. And now it gets a little bit harder. As you can see, the car moves a lot quicker. So gotta be extra careful. Also, the logs move a lot quicker, as too. Yummy! Tasty! Yummy! Okay, we gotta be careful here, too. Because these little toadstools, they disappear. Yummy! Tasty! Okay, let's go ahead and go up here. Gotta be quick on that one, too. Oh. Oh. Yummy! Yummy! Found a piece! Alright, we got the next piece. Mm. Alright, here we go! Toaster! Ooh. All right. Oops. Let's just go ahead and keep going. No want to take the risk of getting caught by that bird. Extra try. Oh, cool. We just got another extra try. Yummy. So yeah, if you're ah, if you're playing this game yourself, you should definitely make sure to pick up the little pieces of food that are just. So, oops. oops. That are just on the ground all around because those will get you extra lives. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, that's cold. Oh man, we were so close there. Uh-oh. Oh man, I almost got caught by that bird. Yummy! Found a piece! Alright, there we go. Let's keep going. Keep rocking and rolling. We got 70 seconds to do it this time. Okay. Oh, that was close. Oh, oh, that's cold. Well, oops. All right, we have one last try. So I'm definitely not doing as well as I did last time on this. Uh. That's all right. Okay, well, that's all right. So now the only thing that we can do is wait for everybody else to 
to do it, and then when there's 15 people who have played it, then we'll get the results back. So let's go ahead and um, head to the employment office really quick. I see that we're coming up on an hour, so we'll finish up this video pretty soon. Hmm, it's taking a while to load. So sometimes what happens after I play a game in the tournament arena is the game uh, sort of crashes. So we might actually be ending this video now, if this doesn't work. And then I will, off camera, I'll go ahead and do the Kinsville Academy with um, Kendall. And then I will, I think I'll also check out the Webkins Stadium to see if there's any events. And I might, I might make a, sm a shorter video if anything interesting happens. But yeah, it looks like it's gonna, it's not gonna load for us. So let's just head to our house to end off the video. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for tuning in again today. I might be making a video later today with a mansion tour. I might not. I might do that tomorrow. And I also might be making a shorter video with, like, events at the Webkin Stadium and stuff. We'll see. But for now, thank you guys for tuning in. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe and help this channel grow. All right. See you guys later.